What if I told you that our God, our Heavenly Father, feeds the, the birds that we see in the sky, and He even cares for them, feeds them, loves them, and our Heavenly Father sees us even more valuable than them. It says we're here in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 25. Jesus says this, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. It is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. Verse 26, look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why worry about clothes? See how the flowers out the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith. So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all of these things, and your heavenly Father knows you need them. But seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all of these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has its enough trouble of its own. <sighs> if we only knew how much valuable, how valuable we are to, to our heavenly Father, especially those who belong to his kingdom, especially those who have been born again, especially those who have made that commitment to seek Him, that He is the creator of the stars, the creator of nature, of this world, the creator of the animal kingdom. And He's saying that we are even more valuable to Him. That to not worry and to not live in distress and to not live in anxiety about our future. You know, there's this quote that says, I may not know what the future holds, but I do know who holds my future, and that is Christ. I know it's easier, it's easier to, be, uh, to say it than to actually be done, and where it's like, do not worry. I know about my future, about certain things, whether that be, could be school, with relationships, with family, with finances. It's very easy to go in that route and just start worrying about everything, about our marriage and about our family, about the house and money, et cetera, et cetera. Here, the Bible is telling us to seek first the kingdom of God. Meaning is that when we are still in distress, when we are in panic mode, we don't know what to do, we don't know where to go, where our life is heading at. We, are, we feel stuck, we don't feel like our life it has a purpose at the moment. It says right here, seek first the kingdom of heaven. Meaning is to get along with God and to seek Him. Say, Lord, I may have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I'm going to seek you. I'm going to get along with you. I want to know, I want to do your will. I want to do your purpose. I want to do and follow your plan. That's often something that I've struggled with too. Times where I've, I don't know what God is doing in my own life, but it's actually, I find beauty in that because I think it's good that I don't know. Sometimes I think it's even better that I have no idea where God is leading me. Because even I am surprised. I, even I, my expectations of where God is leading me, my expectations are blown away when I submit my ways to Him. When I submit my ways to Him, when I submit and I ask Him, Lord, let Your Holy Spirit be the one that directs me. Your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit be the one that guides me. The Holy Spirit be the one that guides me in my own spiritual walk with You and also leading my sheep towards You. And also, guys, is not living in anxiety, not living in fear for the future or for the things that we ought to need, like materialistic things. Here it's telling us is that God will take care of us. A good Heavenly Father will be taking care of us. So my prayer is this and that. Whatever trouble that you may have, whatever thing you may be going through at the moment, go to Christ. Tell Him, God. This is causing me distress. This is causing me heartache. This is causing me so much anxiety. 
I come to you and I cast my anxieties onto you and I give you this request, whether that be my school, whether that be my relationship, whether that be my marriage, whether that be my education, whether that be the church, whether that be anything, saying, God, I want to seek you first and I come to you and let your will may be done in my life.